did that seem odd to you? Like you're 30 years old and I'm guessing you didn't know you had these aneurysms in your abdomen. That's correct. So how did all of us feel going through this? It, it was, it, it was such a shock to my life. Right. But it, it, I think the biggest thing was being in the hospital and all of that. And, and then, because this happened months later, by the time I, I was very, very weak. So when, when you stop eating first, your body consumes all your fat and then all of your muscle. So I, I was a bag of bones. And, and I could barely stand up. I didn't have enough energy to move around the house. And, and by the time that I got the diagnosis, I was already in much, much better shape. So I felt that I was already kind of out of the woods. So it was very weird. Then all of a sudden, I, I, I thought I was just going to live with, I don't know, like I don't have a spleen anymore. That's all that I'm going to have to be dealing with. But then realizing that, okay, no, this is a much more serious condition that can land me in that spot in, in, without any notice. So that's, that, that was very, um, that, that was intense. That was very hard to adapt to. And um, yeah, I, I obviously didn't like the feeling of, of being so weak. And I think we've talked about this before, but how people treat you, <laughs> how, yes, I, I was, I mean, you can tell I got a little more meat on me now, but I was very, very, very skinny and people, I mean, I was, I was fragile uh, and, and, and I didn't like that feeling, that reaction that I was getting from people. Yeah. The way they, they touch you, like they're careful, they don't want to break you. And, and, and I, I, I didn't like that. So I kind of always try to tell myself, I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing. Yes. I'm obviously I'm still dealing with it. Yeah. Um, but I'm a lot better at it now. 